Good evening, one and all, and welcome to the uh, 50th anniversary Back to the Bush Spectacular. And how better to, to, to start that, uh, tonight with that wonderful band of legends? Put your hand for them. We'll introduce them to all to you as the night goes on. And um, we're just going to have a wonderful time. And we want to thank all the uh, people for coming tonight, all the, all the artists who are volunteering their time. But I know that you're all very proud Australians. So before we start the uh, concert proper, I want you to, all those who can, please be upstanding for the national anthem and welcome our beautiful Lynette Guest who's going to sing it for us. Please be upstanding. Thank you, Lorraine. That was absolutely beautiful. And right now, I'd like to, um, it's my pleasure to introduce my co-host tonight, a lady that I'm very proud of, a lady born to sing. So please wait, make welcome my wife and the co-host tonight, Diane Lindsay. Uh, thank you, Peter. Welcome, everyone. It's so wonderful to see you here. The Back to the Bush, Bush Spectacular concert and yeah. especially on this 50th anniversary of the Tamworth Country Music Festival. How very special. You know, we had our first concert here back in uh, 2015, I think it was, and here we are 2015. now. 2015. That's right. And it wasn't cold like it is tonight. It was lovely it's, and hot. <laughs> it, it was very warm. Quite different tonight. Great to see you here. But we would like to pay our respects to the Camilleroy people, custodians of the land we are on, and pay our respect to elders past, present, and emerging, and to those here today. Well, we always have a great lot of balladeer artists here on the Back to the Bush Spectacular. And tonight's no different. We have a great number of artists, and they're going to sing you bush ballads and tell you story, stories of Australia in song and verse. And we always have one or two special guests, and today is no different. We have a special guest, just, he's a very, very busy fella, and uh, he's a legend in our country music industry now today. And, you know, he does say he just always wants to come to this concert. Country music means so much to him. Would you please put your hands together for Mr. Troy Casadaly? Hey! G'day, Sam. How are you? Well, I've got to say, I'm um, very proud to be able to come along to this uh, particular show because I like to try and get here every year. My wife is locked up in the motel with COVID and um, she's getting better, but she's just so sad she can't be here to share this with us. How about this band, folks, eh? Already. Hardly hey. started and they're already beautiful. And how about uh, 40 golden guitars? Is that right? Did I get that right? I was hoping no one would mention it, but I'm going to get on with the show. Thank you very much. I'm the, I'm the guardian. I'll never be the king. We know that. So let's get on with the show. Here we go. I just pulled into another town. Out here on the road I'm still carrying the bruises From the last cagey bull I rode 
Not only our biggest star, but one of the most genuine and uh, uh, great support for this concert right from the word go. Thank you so much, Troy. Thank you so much, my friend. Love to see you too. Uh, how good was that for the start of the concert? Hey, a big cheer for Troy. Well, uh, what we'd like to do now is, is to thank the Tamworth Regional Council for their support for this concert. They've actually been fantastic right from the word go. And it's a, a, a pleasure to work with them and well. And of course, they sponsor this concert. So uh, thank you to the Tamworth Regional Council. Right now, we have one of your local boys, Tom Maxwell, a very popular and uh, extremely uh, well supported balladeer. Tom also runs the Hartwood uh, Festival, which is a big, big deal. We've just been there a little while back. And um, it's wonderful for you to be here tonight, too, Tom. Thank you so much. A big hand for Mr. Tom Maxwell. I don't seem to hear you talking Seem a million miles away If you don't think I'm listening To what you have to say It's just that I'm reminiscing It's a thing old bushmen do We often just drift back in time to that other life we knew we don't waste our time in talking to the ones who just don't know that we reminisce among ourselves of a life lived long ago and I reckon that it helps me 
Write these verses down in rhyme When you see us sometimes close our eyes We just trip back in time To another life, another time Other places where we've been Other mates and other people And some others in between I just draw on these old memories From what I left behind Then like most old bushmen Oh, I just drift back in time Scent of winter to one will go Seems to all come back to me Or sweat on saddle leather Stays in my memory And the bonding in the company With others of our kind Here I close my eyes in memory and just drift back in time to another life another time other places where we've been other mates and other people and some others in between here I just draw and these old memories but what I've left behind Then like most old bushmen Oh, I just drift back in time Then like most old bushmen Oh, I just drift back in time Tom Maxwell, everybody. Great ballad, Tom. He always does a fantastic bush ballad. We just spent last weekend with Tom and the crew out there at Hartwood Festival, just before Tamworth. That was a great, great event. Well, I'm going to introduce our next artist. I'd like to bring on Tracy Costa. Hey, Tracy. And uh, Tracy has a show tomorrow, I hear. Yeah, I do. Cooey Coggins, how are we? All good? Give me a cooey. Yeah, they're out there. <laughs> so where's your... Yeah, darling, sorry, I am. I'm where is at it? the North Tamworth Bowling Club tomorrow at 2 p.m. So ah, show. wonderful. See a lot of people there. And I believe you're going to sing Common Sense for us today. Yeah, and that's right. Isn't that off your recent album? Yeah, it's from the album of Southern Change. Ah, wonderful. Tracy Costa, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, darling. They made it harder for a husband on land governments and the power of the pen has been here sixty years in the footsteps of his dad head for the land and all the stuff they had he talks of leaving but she's heard it all before poor cattle prices and drought knocking at the door come the time we'll watch our rivers flow to sea doesn't seem like common sense to me so take me back to a time when the man was so, so blessed Back to a time we were ruled by common sense Let's farm the land, build the dams and burn the clear scrub It's time to say 
the bush has had enough They close the ranges And the parks where cattle graze Yet could not join us To help fight the mountain blaze While they gather For a protest in the town The heart of our nation burned the ground And I get the feeling From where our leaders stand Bowed down to voices With no knowledge of this land So may the blind Lead the blind one day to see Doesn't seem like common sense to me So take me back to a time When the land was so, so blessed Let's farm land, build the dams, and burn in the scrub. It's time to say the bush has had a Ladies and gentlemen, and how good was that? And Tracy is well established as a, uh, a in a country music family. Please wait there one second, uh, Trace. Um, yeah, it's cold, isn't it? <laughs> but look, in case there's anybody out there that doesn't know, most of you would know, but Tracy's father, Stan Costa, was an absolute legend, bush ballad writer, and a wonderful man. And uh, I know your last album, you must have inherited some of that, Trace. I, th I think in some ways, Pete, I was channeling Dad with some of those songs. So, yeah, it comes through, you know. <laughs> it does come through indeed. And we're very proud of you, Trace. And, of course, as one of our favourite writers. But uh, also, Trace was a uh, Golden Guitar nominee on Wednesday night for a Bush Ballad. So, yeah, as must I. So, thank you for coming, Trace, and we love you heaps. Mate. Well, our next artist. He hasn't been able to make it to Tamworth the last few years and we've really missed him here on our Back to the Bush Spectacular. And I know there's a lot of ladies who have just been waiting for this fella to make the, to make the concert again. So please welcome Peter Pratt. Thank you. Oh, yes. Great to be here and happy to be with you. Thank you. Well, I've been waiting for you. Like a wild eyed steer I just want out of this herd. Go back to the hills where I'll be seldom disturbed. Leave this settled night out of sight and out of mind. Like a wild eyed steer, I'd like to leave this herd behind. Well, I could see him coming from the middle of the pack. Tail swinging, head up high, eyes looking straight back. And I could see that we both had a one-way thinking mind. We both would like to leave our respective herds behind. But I'm stuck here kind of sideways down a one-way street. With pressures of society and commitments I must meet You don't seem to win 
No matter how you try And like him I'd rather live Than be the meat in the pie Like a wild-eyed steer I just bought out of this herd Go back to the hills Where I'll be seldom disturbed Leave this pressured life out of sight and out of mind Like a wild-eyed steer I'd like to leave this herd behind One day I'll find a gap to break through and I'll be gone Back out there without a care and watch the world roll on. Like a cagey scrubber bull, I'll hang back out off the pole. When the ringers ride out looking, they won't muster me no more. Like a wild eyed steer, I just want out of this herd. Go back to the hills where I'll be seldom. This pressured light out of sight and out of mind Like a wild-eyed steer I'd like to leave this herd behind Thank you. Mr. Peter Pratt, how good is it to have him here? He went AWOL for a little while, we couldn't find him. Where you been, Pete? Oh, I've just sort of been around uh, trying to make a living and uh, wishing I could uh, do more music. <laughs> well, I'll let you get on with it. So he's, so, he's been absent so long, we're going to give you an extra song. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Well, that was unexpected, Sid, um, but thanks very much, Pete. It's, uh, it's been a couple of years trying to, um, trying to get on this show. Um, uh, they've asked me and I've had other commitments and whatnot and things like that, so it's lovely to finally get up here. And, um, and uh, so thanks guys, and um, thank you Tamworth. Great to be here. Thanks to this wonderful man. It's good to see these guys again. By the fire, mother knits while in his chair the old man sits staring at the quiet dancing flame. He recalls a block of land from the bush he cleared by hand to realize his dream of growing grain. Old eyes and iron the field of an iron steering wheel on a frosty night beneath a winter sky He can smell the fresh turned soil Kerosene and hot some oil Fond memories of those tractor days gone by He was a tractor pioneer Saw the passing of an era as the horse teams disappear and change the farming scene of yesteryear. Yes, he was a tractor pioneer. Those tired bones now pain. From the years in wind and rain As an army coat hung damp across his back Through summer harvest heat Sitting on a cast iron seat As the wheat dust settled on his grease stained pad It's hard to comprehend the times the same since then So many memories graced the old man's mind Those simple quaint machines Once the essence of his dream 
now slowly fade into another time. He was a tractor pioneer, saw the passing of an era as the horse teams disappeared. And changed the farming scene of yesteryear Yes, he was a tractor pioneer Now by the fire, mother knits While in his chair, the old man sits and remembers those good 1950s years And he still can hear the sound Of a bulldog working ground And the rocks as they resound against the sheep They were the tractor pioneers Saw the posse of an era as the horse teams disappear and change the farming scene of yesteryear as they were the tractor pioneer here's to you dad and the tractor Peter Thank you very Pratt. much. Great man. Great. Thanks, Peter. Thank and I do hope it's not too many years <laughs> until you're able to come back here again to the Back to the Bush Spectacular. I should introduce this band. Fantastic band, a band of legends, led by Rod Co on bass over here. Give him a hand. Rod pulls it all together. I, I say to him, well, I let him know who's coming and who can't come and what they're singing and he just pulls this all together. Fantastic. Mike Kieran, Fettler here on the fiddle. Yay. Doug Gallagher on bass. Oh, bass. On drums. Thanks, Dougie. Amos Morris over there on acoustic guitar. Yeah, Michelle Rose on the steel. And Laurie Minson down here on everything else. Thank you, everything fellas. Else. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a young gentleman here that I've known for quite some um, number of years. And I am absolutely thrilled to see how much he's improved and he's really becoming a bit of a legend in guitar and uh, we're very proud of him. His name is Ant Anthony Baxter. So please make him a big welcome and I know you're going to enjoy what he's going to do for you. Thank you very much. How many uh, country music musicians does it take to change a light bulb? There's five. One of them changes the light bulb and the other four sing about how good the old one was. How about bluegrass? How many bluegrass musicians does it take to change a light bulb? Same number, five. One of them changes the, the light bulb and the other four all sit around bitching about it being electric. <laughs> How many authors does it take to change a light bulb? Mine just, on now. Just one. Actually, sorry, two. One of them twists it almost all the way in and then the other one gives it a quirky twist right at the end. Ah, oh, boom boom. <laughs> well, I tell you, Anthony will be back shortly, but right now we have one of our band members to do a great number for you. And he's just going to get ready there. And uh, he's from the Kempsey area. And a big part of our band, as you can see. Anyone from Kempsey? Yes. Who's from WA? 
Yeah, wonderful. How about Darwin? Yeah, Darwin? I know uh, Alice Springs, Ray Murtag is here from Alice Springs. Oh, and we must say a big hello to Linda, Raffaello and Philomena. So thank you so much. They've come all the way from Canada. <laughs> Good to see you here. This is Amos Morris, everybody. Had no rain for years and days, it just don't seem to come. The dams have all dried up again, the grass is overdone. There's no such thing as make believe when the bad times come. My imagination, see the rivers run. The windmill needs attention It's a wine since 91 It's time to mend the fences And those things that just don't run Now we'd like to take a holiday But it's easier said than done We can't afford to catch the train Till the rivers run My imagination helps me keep my sanity Cause in my mind I see the waters and fields of summer green There's no such thing as make-believe But when the bad times come My imagination see the rivers run To do the house up, paint the roof, fix the stairs. The boy wants a stereo, mom would like some fancy chairs. Well, me, I'd like a new machine, but it's easier said than done. You can't afford the diesel to make the motor run. My imagination helps me keep my sanity Cause in my mind I see the waters and fields of summer green There's no such thing as make-believe When the bad times come My imagination can see the rivers run Dig the dirt, grow some corn We'd like to buy some new things For our clothes are old and warm Now we've got the air and sunshine But the water, we have none So we can't afford a shoestring Till the rivers run My imagination helps me keep my sanity Cause in my mind I see the waters and fields of summer green There's no such thing as make-believe But when the bad times come My imagination can see the rivers run my imagination See the rivers run
Thank you very much, folks. How good is Amos, eh? Big hand for Amos Morris. Is it cold out there? Not cold up here. There we go, there we go. All righty, well, it's our turn to sing a, a song for you now. This one was put by a man of ours named Sidey. Yeah, way up there, up the back. 
up to the, in the tent there and way over here. So thank you so much for coming along. We're going to introduce our uh, next artist. I'll take this out now. Right over. So right now, as I said before, we're uh, very proud of this young fellow. We uh, had a little bit of trouble with his guitar there for, for a while, but he's, he's up ready and ready to go, you mate, are you? So please make welcome, welcome young fellow by the name of Anthony Baxter. Please give a big warm welcome, fellas. Ah, oh, thanks. Thank you, Anthony. Listen to the, that big applause out there. That was worth waiting for, wasn't it? Yeah. And look, sometimes when you have a little hiccup like that, it's hard to pick up, and he's done a wonderful job, and we're very proud of him. Thank you, Anthony. <coughs> All right, well, right now we've got a wonderful fellow for you. It's uh, one of our favourite sons, a wonderful balladeer and, a, and an absolute champion bloke. He's a multi-gold guitar winner, and he's a gentleman, and I know you're going to enjoy him. Mr. Jeff Brown. Please make Jeff welcome. The more you clap, the warmer you'll get. 
Hey, please make Jeff welcome. Hey! Thanks very much, Peter, and uh, g'day there, folks. Real, uh, real pleasure to be along here tonight and be part of the program. And I reckon I'd do, uh, do a song for you. This is a title track of my latest album, one that uh, it was, it was a poem, actually, that uh, Kelly Dixon sent to me, and I had a muck around and put a bit of a tune to it, and uh, I really like it. It's called More Times Than I Remember, and it goes a bit like this. The old Mac more times than I remember Seen scorch and drought in the further out And the monsoons in December Seen lots of snow round Omeo Seen the sands of Oonadatta Been checked for weight in every state From Cairns to Wangaratta Six days on the road with an overload While I waited out the scale Been in strife with another bloke's wife In a town in New South Wales been bogged in glue on the hay plains too in the storms of late November. Been in a blue for a homemade brew more times than I remember. Seen a few truck wrecks, had a few crook checks from shonks I caught a straight for. Had some quick turnarounds in coastal towns And some loads I've had to wait for All ugly loads over up dirt roads From Christmas to September Had a bearing go and a tire blow More times than I remember Now settled down in a country town And the big wheels roll on by And the bull-like beams invade my dreams And they will until I die Though my trucking days may fade away Like a fire True makes more times than I remember Never had to be a wife, but I've had a good life Hard work and seems don't matter If your health stays fine as it has like mine And my ashes you can scatter Where the trucks roll by and the soft wind Sign when freight slows in December Let my mates come by Just to show that I am a bloke They all remember Let my mates come by Just to show that I am a bloke They all remember Thanks very much Mr. Jeff Brown. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you, And ladies Jeff. and gentlemen, um, Jeff is a wonderful balladeer, as you can see, but he has to drive um, all the way to Boonduma early in the morning, but he decided he wanted to be here for the concert for you people. So uh, how about giving him an extra big cheer? What do you got on now, Jeff. mate? What, what do you got on next, mate? Next, oh well, up to Boon Doom for Homestead tomorrow That's right. for a, a festival up there. And uh, actually, next weekend we'll be down at Weath Alley out from uh, West Wylong at a uh, festival down there. It should be a good one. And it's, uh, it's yeah, so, got a bit happening. It's so nice to see some of the festivals coming back again, isn't it? Well, Live it is, music. Mate. Yep, yep, too right. No, we've uh, it, it's been a, been a long time between drinks, and uh, it's, it's just <laughs> nice to be sort of getting uh, getting back in the groove again and uh, and a bit happening. It's. It's yeah. pretty easy to drop the bundle if you if you let it. <laughs> so, no, nah, it's really good. But thanks once again, mate, thank you for tonight. staying with us tonight. And, and we know that he's got a long drive in the morning, and he he had planned to go back early, but he wanted to support the concert to to tell these stories to you people and sing his songs. And we just uh, love him so much. Thank you so much, Brownie. Thanks, on, Jeff. Thanks a lot. Yay. See you, mate. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out to all the radio presenters that are here. I know various radio presenters from all around the country come to Tamworth. And um, so we just want to say thank you for supporting Australian country music. We're so pleased that you're here too. And we want to thank everyone, each and every one of you people too, because since we started this concert, there's been a wonderful support for it. And uh, 
This is a people's concert. It's, it's a, the, the music that tells the stories of Australia, of our land, and it helps preserve our culture, we believe, and helps preserve our history. So it's a wonderful genre, and that's what this concert's all about. But right now we have an absolute legend, a good friend of ours and everybody else's. He's a, he's a wonderful man, played slim, um, lead guitar for Slim Dusty, acoustic lead for many, how many years, Charlie? A few, you, he said. Like 20? He's <laughs> a he's 20. wonderful guitarist, you can't count. Uh, a few, uh, over 20 years, uh, Peter. But and it really is a pleasure. And also, Charlie was a presenter on the Golden Guitar Awards with Anne Kirkpatrick the other night. We saw you there. Great oh, job. So thank you, Charlie. We so wanted to have you, mate, so you go and enjoy yourself. And a uh, big hand for Charlie Boyd, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Charlie Boyd, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Charlie. As I said, he's a legend. He'll be back a bit later on, and uh, it's, it's a real honour to have you on the show. And right now we've got another legend, uh, a fellow that's no stranger to the, the business. He comes from a funny-looking place called Yakandanda. He's a funny man, but he's talented in, in so many ways. Please mate, welcome Mr. Peter Denny. Oh, thanks a lot, Pete. Thanks, folks. We're going to do a, a Stan Costa song for you now. This one's uh, called The Cunnamulla Fella. <laughs> well, I'm a scrubber, runner, and a breaker, too. I live on damper and wallaby stew. I got a big cattle dog with a stag hound cross. Never saw the scrubber, we couldn't toss Cause I'm the fella from Cunnamulla Yes, I'm the Cunnamulla fella Now once when I was droving on the cattle trails I met a little girl, her name was Ada Vale I said, marry me Ada and I'll be the fella And we'll settle down with all the fella be the fella, that ogre fella. Yes, I'll be the ogre fella, fella. Well, she said her daddy's name was Charlie Bill. She had a lot of kitties and a lot of bills. So I grabbed my horse that was nice and handy. And I never stopped till I reached here in Bandy. I was 
was a dandy, that dear and bandy. Yes, I was the dear and bandy dandy. Well, in my moleskin trousers and my Williams boots, I'll board an outlaw as he leaves the shoots. In that gooseneck spurs, I'll rake that fiery hide and the girls all shout. And shirts full of color And the girls know me as That kind of fella Yes, I'm the fella From Cunnamulla Yes, I'm the Cunnamulla fella Oh, yes, they call me the Cunnamulla fella Yes, I'm the Cunnamulla fella Thank you, Peter! Thanks, folks. Good on you. Thank you. Cheers. Fantastic. And if you ever see Peter around with the shows, be sure to catch me. Actually, Pete has the morning shows. The morning... Have anyone been out to the morning shows with Pete? Pete, your morning show. Uh, yes, the, the morning shows. We're uh, they're very, very sad. We're having just morning. We'll just be there morning. And, uh, no, 8, no, 8.30 at Diggers is my last show tomorrow, 8.30 to 10.30. And uh, see you all, don't all turn up, but we <laughs> might see some of you there. But if you do turn up, 15 metres uh, safe dis distancing from each other, if you don't mind. Really? Yeah. really? All righty then. Sounds good. Well, our next lady hails from Sydney. Please welcome Kylie Adams Collier. And she's got a song with a very special story behind it. You know, Kylie, a little earlier we had a competition here for the most impressive hat, best dressed hat. And I hope the young fella that won it, I believe they would have found you by now to give you your prize. But Kylie, it wasn't the best dressed coat today. It was the hat. You're a day late. <laughs> I thought it was the best dressed coat. Well, you do have the best dressed coat. You would have won, definitely. Now, the song you're going to sing for us tonight, you wrote, and it's called... It's called On a Sandstone Ridge. At Terry Hills in Sydney, On a Sandstone Ridge, is Smokey Dawson's... Smokey Dawson's Homestead Gate, which was in front of his original ranch. That's right. They, they rebuilt it in 2003. And then lots of trees and weeds grew around it. But I'm happy to say that they're starting to look after Smokey Dawson's Gate. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. And I know that you were very, you had a, a big lot to do with the, um, the restoring of Smokey's Gate to his property there. So when you drive along Terry Hills and the main road, you really can't miss it. It's a great big gate, big made out of timber. So keep your eye open for that if you are along that way. So please put your hands together. Kylie Adams Collier with On a Sandstone Ridge. Thank you. A gate stands still on a sandstone ridge. Smoky Dawson's ranch is all but disappeared. Overgrown with bush and weeds. All Still on a sandstone ridge, smoking. 
Daisy Dawson's ranch is quiet now. The Baronias all give a bow. All the sides don't reach. Thank you, Kylie. And a wonderful story and a wonderful coat. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. Uh, how good was that? But what, before we bring our next artist on, um, Diane and myself and many others in the bush ballad field are trying to get this genre, um, trying to get, attract younger balladeers. And on Wednesday night, the, the person who won the golden guitar for bush ballad was a young fellow by the name of Angus Gill. Now, Angus has been out the back there doing his homework, looking at how it's all done. He's a, he's a lovely fellow, he works very hard, and we're very pleased for him. He's going to bring him out to say hello, and uh, I know you'll make him welcome. Angus Gill. Good on you, Angus. Thanks, Peter. Thank you, Di. It's wonderful to be here. Well, it's uh... wonderful to have you here. I'm glad you could drop by and, and come along and meet some of the other bush balladeers out the back that you haven't met yet. Yeah, well, there's a lot of familiar faces that I have over the years, so it's fantastic to be here and fantastic to see a brilliant turnout tonight because yes, uh, there's nothing like the real deal, is there? Ah, so. that is right, the real deal. So congratulations. Great work. Keep it up. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> we really look forward to your new songs coming and soon. And Angus, thank we you. look forward to many more good bush ballads from you, mate. And thank you for going up out the back there and talking to everybody. He's a, he's a beautiful young fellow and I know he's going to uh, do well whatever he does, but he, uh, as well, I'm going to encourage him to write more bush ballads and perform them, because he does it very well. Thank you, mate. Thanks, Thanks Angus. Thanks. Good to see you. Well, our next fellow is going to tell you a story he's going, that he wrote himself. Thanks. Bush poets are a big part of the bush ballad scene. And I, I bet a lot of you have been to the, uh, the bush poets breakfast at various festivals in here. Yeah, they, they are fantastic, those bush poet breakfasts. They, are so, they give you such a good laugh. They're so good. So many stories. Well, our fella here comes from Brunswick Heads, retired to Brunswick Heads, and Ray's been coming here for several years now, and uh, he's joined on stage with Rob Waters on bass. Now put your hands together, please, for Ray Essery. How is all going out there? It's a bit cold. It's, it's, not, it's not like the, uh, uh, the January. Well, we've been coming here now for 30 years. I have, but it's the Tamworth now has been going for uh, 50 years. And what, what's happened in Australia over that 50 years? Vietnam was just over, or almost over, and we lost 500 men, and then 9-11 broke out, and uh, the Afghan war broke out again. The Afghan war and the Iraq war, it broke out and we lost more men. And we got over that. And then they had the, uh, uh, the biggest droughts we've ever had in this country. And with that come the mice plagues. And then after all that was over, the fires broke out in 
Australia, some of the biggest fires we've ever had, the challenge we went through there. And we got over that, we fought our way through that. And then the uh, COVID broke out. And that's one of the biggest hurdles this country had to get over. And we got over that because we we're Australians. And then of course, the biggest floods on the east coast of Australia we've ever had. And I was in Lismore in, uh, in the 54 flood and 17 drowned. But this year was the biggest flood they've ever had and almost wiped Lismore out. 50 years have passed me by and I have grown old. With those memories I still see, more precious, more precious than any gold. And when I see those memories with eyes growing dim, my mind takes me back to those days. And when I see those, when I walk those mountains from the mountains to the sea, when I walk the land of those dreamtime men with a fond memory. And when I see those pictures with eyes growing dim, I see all those rivers that I crossed with a smile and a hymn. And when I hear those songs of 50 years ago, my mind takes me back to that old radio. When Slim Dusty and Tex Morton sang their country songs as they travelled throughout our land on those roads oh so long. And when I see that flag that tells us who we are, very proud Australians beneath the southern star who's faced every challenge, blow after blow after blow, as we've travelled through those years since 50 years ago. So now I sit and dream as those memories come again when I walk my road of life through the droughts and falling rain, when I climb my highest mountain where the Wesleys blow, working, drifting, wandering through those years since 50 years ago. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Give Rob Waters a hand, ladies and gentlemen, the great guitarist. Ray Essery, 50 years. 50 years ago. Yeah. Great work. Thank you so much. And thank you, Rob. Well, you're in for a treat now. Oh, yes, yes, they are in for a treat. <laughs> We've got a family group come out here. They, they travel ex Australia extensively, and I'm sure that they're no stranger to you at all. The Codes are such a talented family. There's no end to their talent, I tell you. They're just amazing. So we have Peter Code, the Code sisters, Virginia and Lynette, and... Ah, right, three of them, Peter Code and the Code Sisters. Please make them welcome. Thank you very much, and it's great to be here with you folks. And I'm going to kick off with a song which was a, a finalist for me in the Bush Ballad Golden Guitar last year. It's about a couple of old Bushmen. One of those Bushmen you would have probably well heard of, a bloke by the name of Tom Cruise, the Birdsville mailman, and another bloke called Noel Smith who... Uh, own stations at the bottom of the Birdsville tracks and they were great old friends and uh, this photo turned up on my desk one day and uh, I thought there's got to be a song in that old photo so I wrote this one about two old bushmen so uh, oh, you got to wait for these women in this not world. very often we ask Peter to keep talking but <laughs> <laughs> oh. I usually get into trouble for talking, so I wasn't saying that much. But anyhow, how, how's your festival been going along? You been doing all right? Uh, and uh, gee, this, this, this cool weather's a bit of a change from, from that heat of January, isn't it? I've, I've been coming here for well over 40 years, and uh, uh, I've, never, I've, I've only seen about one or two cool Tamworth festivals. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm enjoying this one, I reckon, yeah. So uh, we've just come in from South Australia. We've been over there for about 12 months doing a few shows here and there, just not too much for the COVID. Things has been stopping the world a little tiny bit. But uh, 
Anyway, we're back and hopefully next weekend we're going up to a casino. They've got a weekend festival there next weekend, so we're going up there and uh, doing the Saturday there, a couple of appearances on the Saturday there. So, uh, how'd okay. you go there, Virginia? I think we're rolling. I think we're rolling. We just had a little technical thing there going on. So, <laughs> here's our song, Two Old Bushmen. <laughs> Two old smiling bushmen in this photo on my desk True sons of Australia, well I think describes them best Where the eagle circles, where the sand hills grow Well leeching bones and gibber stones in the land they know Oh two old smiling bushmen in this photo shaking hands a friendship of a lifetime and a special breed of man Noel came from the stations, Tom drove the Birdsville Mail I'd love to buy them memories if they were for sale I'd love to buy them memories if they were for sale Noel came from the stations, Tom drove the Birdsville Mail Behind those craggy features, two of the strongest men I'd love to live their memories of them Two old smiling bushmen, Noel Smith and Tommy Cruz could we ever understand the hardship they knew? When the outback wasn't easy and all that you could do Put everything into every day and just hope that got you through It's just a simple photo, there's more to it than that These two blokes were the kind of folks who pioneered our fact where the job there for the doing never left till it was done Like an easy breeze in the cool of our trees, true Australian sons I'd love to buy them memories if they were for sale Noel came from the stations, Tom drove the Birdsville Mail Behind those craggy features, two of the strongest men I'd love to live their memories of them I'd love to buy their memories If they were for sale No came from the stations Tom drove the Birdsville Mail Behind those craggy features Two of the strongest men I'd love to live their memories of them I'd love to live their memories of them Thank you, two old bushmen, and now we have, I'd like to introduce you to my two sisters here, Virginia and Lynette, the Code Sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Thank oh, you. Thank you very much. It's so lovely to be here at the uh, 50th uh, Tamworth Festival. We're going to do a song, Lynette and I are going to do a song that took out the group uh, section in the awards at the Bungador Sandcast Memorial Awards this year, and this is one that... Uh, we call the land of acacia and uh, we come from south australia we've got any south australians out there tonight oh there's a couple running around out there running wild good on you keeping the spirit alive there must be a hole in the fence <laughs> okay so we're going to do this song all about the story of land of acacia <laughs> The dry and words of station where the rivers run dry to the flooding of rain going back to the place of my childhood in the land of our and wild desert road where skirts desert flower blooms of the rainbow the shimmer of the mirage artesian more clothes good seasons turn sand to a postcard of colors in the land of our cashew and wild as it rolled. Roads I've known took me to places distant horizons with beauty. 
Across mighty oceans, cities of wonders, still I'm thinking of home. Where stirs as a flower, blooms of the rainbow, the shimmer of mirage, our tears and more flows. Good seasons turn sand to a postcard of colors in the land of our cashew and wild. Thanks, girls. And uh, I'd like to do a song now. This one's called uh, The Long Way Home. And it go, takes us back to the Flinders Ranges. Uh, there's, there's a bitumen track between Hawker and the Flinders Ranges and down to Corn. And, uh, but there's also a dirt track that goes out on the uh, west side of the Flinders Ranges, an old track. Mainly it's just a station road now, but it was quite a, a road and well used way back in the uh, 100 years or so ago. But anyway, I've seen this tr uh, track uh, wriggle across my map a few times there, and I thought, one day I'm going to go down that road. So recently we did, and I wrote this song about it's called The, the Long Way Home. Going home on the other road Even though the long way around Follow my nose down a red dirt road Far from the nearest town An old bush seen A post with a lane Holding a fingerboard sign The Flinders Blue Old Homestead too Freckle Bob on a station folk an old machine from another day that planted dreams and hopes of rusty gates there's quite a few interrupts our way I'm loving the feel of the long way around I'm traveling down today Stop at 
Trovey's grave Where a veteran bushman sleeps They making a stop at Trovey's grave Where a veteran bushman sleeps Sisters. And they made the trip especially to Tamworth just to come here and perform for you tonight. So thank you so much. Yay, give them a hand. Well, we have a very special, very special guest coming up next for you. And he really is a legend in his own lifetime and our most senior recording artist as well. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Chad Morgan. I just wanted to read out a little bit of, just something special about Chad for you. I reckon you can do better than that, Mr. Chad Morgan. Yay. And you will probably know that this is Chad's 70th, 70th anniversary of performing in the entertainment industry. 70 years. Give him a big hand, please. You know, that's an achievement that only a few people have ever realised, not just Australia, but worldwide. Chad first came to notice on the Australian Amateur Hour at 19 years old, going on to the finals at the Sydney Town Hall, where he gained second place with a recording contract for Regal Zonophone in 1952. His first release, Sheik of Scrubby Creek, which he is still known by today, topped the charts. And Chad is still performing the same way as he started, just himself and his guitar, and always has the audience in the palm of his hand. Chad toured with the Slim Dusty Show mm -hmm. in 1950. Ah, yeah. oh, there's so, so much, hmm? <laughs> A prolific recording artist, elevated to the role of renown in 1987, Hands of Fame, awarded an OAM in 2004, Lifetime Achievement Award in the 2010 Golden Guitar Awards. His bronze bust is here in the Bicentennial Park. Gold and platinum album sales. He's played all over Australia. Tents, pubs, clubs, back of trucks, just everywhere. He is one of the original pioneers of our Australian country music. So please put your hands together for Mr. Chad Morgan, OAM. Before you start, Chad, before you start, Chad's one of our most precious artists. Just before you start, mate, on behalf of the Bush Ballad Association, 
die and myself. And the Back to the Book Spectacular, we've got a little presentation for you just to show our appreciation, mate. Not only is he a good artist, he's a great friend as well. Please make welcome the president of the Woodsbound Association, Peter Code, OAM. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you very much. And I'd like to say it's a great achievement, 70 years of playing music. And uh, I can go back 65 years. I first heard Chad Morgan on a more early morning hillbilly show 65 years ago. And we, and, uh, and, Dad, and we bought the old 78 records, the old Regal Zonophone record, and we've still got those old records today of the, fair, of the I think it was called the Dinkum Dill or the Fair Dinkum Dill. That was the song. And, uh, and, and, and Peter and Diane and the, and the AWBA, the Australian Bush Balladeers Association, and all the people that have enjoyed your music for, <laughs> for 70 years, which I mean, this little token we've got here is just to say thank you, Chad, for making our lives so enjoyable for 70 years. A real achievement. Thank you. Get on your feet. Oh, thank you very much, mate. And uh, it, I'm very honoured to receive that because it's more than I got from the uh, Country Music Association. Thank you, Chad. Mr. Chad Morgan. Thank you very much. I won't be out here too long boring you, but I usually start off with a Shaky Scrubby Creek because that was the first song that I recorded that I wrote. So I'm, I'm going to start off tonight instead of the Sheik, the last song that I ever wrote and recorded. I don't write much these days, but uh, this is the last one, but I'll, I need a little bit of help with this one. So it's called A Duck and Will of Stud. Some of you will know it and some of you don't, but I'll just sing the chorus a couple of times and see how much noise you can make. It just goes. He rides a motorbike, a shiny motorbike. When it comes to the shiny motorbike, I'll just get you to all scream out the top of your lungs. Don't worry about who's sitting beside you. Bugger them, they're probably as frightened as you are. Just scream out. Tiny motorbike. Okay, here we go, we'll get into the song. The Claxton boys were on the prowl at a local dance. This cute little Sheila kept looking at Wynn and he thought he had a chance. But then this handsome boat turned up, said, let's go have a drink. And he and the Sheila left the floor before poor Wynn could blink. Wynn said, who's that flashy mongrel? As his heart dropped with a thud. Someone with the breathlessly, it's the duck and will a stud. He rides a motorbike. The girls all saw as he rides by, there's love and need his blood. He rides a motor now. There'll never be another like the duck and will a stud. He's tall, blue eyed, and handsome, his hair wavy black. He comes from somewhere in the scrub and he lives in a stringy bark shack. All the sheilers follow him no matter where he goes Why he's like a human magnet, no one really knows Why do the girls keep hanging round, why do they cling so close Whatever it was when they handed it out, they gave him a double dose He rides a motorbike The girls all saw as he rides by, the slubbin need his blood He rides a motorbike There'll never be another like the duck and will stud he was shy and awkward when he was just a kid But it didn't take him very long to learn what the big boys did Well back in 1949 he bought his motorbike And riding back in the pillion seat the girls all seemed to like He used to jam the brakes on hard as they roared down the track Cos he loved the feel of the Sheila's boobs as they slammed into his back He rides a motorbike the girls all saw as he rides by, there's love in his blood. He rides a motorbike. There'll never be another like the duck and will a stud. Why he's a fitness maniac, no one really knows. I think it's because he wants to fill every bit of his fancy clothes. One early morning on the beach, he'd just run 20 k's and had started exercising just after the break of day. He was halfway through his push-ups when a drunk said, I don't know, I think you're wasting your time, young fella. She went home hours ago. Oh, he rides a motorbike. The girls all saw as he rides by, there's love and need his blood. He rides a motorbike. There'll never be another like the duck and willow stud. Oh, thank you very much. Before I sing the next song, I'd just like to compliment the sound men. 
It's the first time I've done a show that I haven't had to abuse somebody. It sounds perfect for up here anyway. Thank you. Okay. This is a little mind twister for you. It, I find it a bit hard myself to remember the words of it, but see if you can work, work this story out. It's called I'm My Own Grandpa. Many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as could be. This widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair red. My father fell in love with her and soon the pair were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. My daughter was my mother cause she was my father's wife. To complicate the matter, even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. My little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad. So I became my uncle, though it made me very sad. For if he was my uncle, that also made him brother of the widow's grown-up daughter, who of course was my stepmother. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It seems funny, I know, but it really is so. Oh, I'm my own grandpa. My father's wife then had a son who kept him on the run. He became my grandchild, for he was my daughter's son. My wife's now my mother's mother, and it makes me blue. For even though she is my wife, she's my grandmother too. Now if my wife is my grandma, then I am her grandchild. Every time I think of this, it nearly drives me wild. For now I have become the strangest case you ever saw. As husband of my grandma, I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It seems funny, I know, but it really is so. Oh, I'm my own grandpa. Ah, oh, thank you again. Well, I got one more song to go, then I'm off into the Never Never. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show because I know there's some great artists coming up to uh, try and entertain you. This next song, I'll turn the guitar up just a fraction for this because I want to drown my own voice out. I'm going to sing this song, especially for any of you shielders out there that think I might be getting a bit too old. Any of you thoughts that think I'm over the hill, well, I got news for you. This one's called As Life in the Old Dog Yet. Oh, the sheilers seem to think I've had me day And my longing to make love has gone astray Well, I'm here to let you know I'm a red-eyed Romeo And I'm ready if that blonde there wants to play Women think that when you're my age, you're all done And you ain't got what it takes to fire your gun well, my passion's at its peak I'm the chic of Scrubby Creek Always looking for the chance to have some fun Yes, there's life in the old dog yet There are still things I can do, so don't forget And if you give me half a chance I might wind up in your pants Cos there's life in the old dog yet Yes, the other day while going for a swim I was standing near this redhead neat and trim when she smiled and said hello, my desire began to grow and it made the situation rather grim. So I dived into the water out of reach just to cool my thoughts about this little peach. You can imagine my disgrace and the look upon her face as I pole vaulted from the water to the beach. Yes, there's life in the old dog yet. There are still things I can do, so don't forget. So if you want to let her rip, well I've got a red hot tip That there's life in the old dog yet While visiting the Warwick Rodeo Me missus said, come on, you have a go So I rode this bucking nag Till its gut began to sag I won the prize and collected all the dough Well the missus really thought I was a toff And she said to me the minute I got off I didn't know you could buck and turn. Tell me, Chad, where did you learn? I said you taught me when you had the hooping cough. Yes, there's life in the old dog yet. There are still things I can do, so don't forget. 
And if you're in any doubt, why not come and try me out? Cause there's life in the old dog, yeah. Thank you, see you next time. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what about a big, big hand? Why don't you stand up and give him a clap? He, eh? He's a living legend and uh, a great fellow. Thank you so much, Chad. And I tell you what, there's, we appreciate just how good you are, mate, and uh, how good a friend you are. Thank you, Chad. Are you enjoying the night? Well, we certainly are, and uh, thank you once again for being here. It's a wonderful thing. Thanks to the council, of course, and uh, for the wonderful band, and, and the sound crew, too. They're always wonderful to work with. Thank you very much. And right now we've got another legend coming up to play uh, for you. He's, he's been in the band. He's a local fellow as well. He's, uh, his family is part of uh, the, the history of this, this, this festival. And please make welcome Laurie Minson. Laurie's a multi-golden guitar winner, um, a great session musician, and he's done just about everything. Thank you for being with us, Laurie. How you going, Pete? Very good, mate. Very good got, indeed. I missed that first bit. What did you just say? I said that you're a legend. I'm a legend. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, thanks very much. That's uh, from you. I'll take that as a, a massive compliment, buddy. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Now, oh, it's a I'm... pleasure to have you here, mate. And uh, I know you've got a couple of things to say before you start. But I'll just leave you with it. A big hand for Laurie. Oh, and I'll right, leave you in his good care. Thank, thanks very much, Peter. It's... Um, I think uh, the first time I've been involved with uh, this uh, Back to the Bush concert, I'm really enjoying it. You're all having a good time out there. I hope you brought a jumper or a blanket or something. It's, uh, we've sort of gone the polar opposite of uh, January. Uh, I'm going to play an instrumental for you in a sec, but I just wanted to uh, mention a little something. Uh, the, they just re-released Smokey Dawson's book. It's called Smokey Dawson, A Life. Uh, and Collins Bookstore here have got them, and it's just a—it's been completely updated, uh, repackaged, and it's just a beautiful. Um, anyone who wants to take home a memento of Tamworth, uh, it's just—I'd highly recommend it. Uh, and uh, it says, "Receive a Smokey Dawson CD, a free CD, Homestead of My Dreams, free with the purchase of the book from Collins Bookstore, which is just over in Peel Street." So, we used to—I I just uh, love. Old Smokey used to love spending so much time with him and Dot, uh, so it's just great that uh, you know the, the memories kind of living, keep keeping that memory going. So anyway, I'm going to play an instrumental for you now. This one took out uh, a golden guitar in 1890 or something. I don't know when it was, but anyway, uh, make sure I've got some sound in. Yeah, that's work. It's an instrumental version of uh, an old Buddy Williams song called Wild River. And it starts, are you going to count it? One, two, three. Michelle Wright.
Everybody used to sing Wild River Wild River Wild River Wild River Wild River Hey, Laurie Minson. How about a hand for that band? All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Laurie. That was great. Wild River. Well, I'm going to bring on a couple of local ladies now, fairly local ladies now, both from this area. Just an Old Cattle Dog is the name of the song, and I believe written by Norma O'Hara Murphy. It's a beautiful bush ballad. Yeah, that's about me. <laughs> and the lady in the middle here is Patty Morgan, who's going to sing it for you. And on the other side there we have the beautiful Lynette Guest with her wonderful harmonies. So, Patty Morgan everyone, thank you. Hello. I'd like to do this song and, and Lynn's going to sing harmony with me and uh, I hope you enjoy it. His ears are all tattered, his hide is all battered and worn For he's been number one on the cattle run since he was born His old eyes light up when he knows there's work to be done Cause he's just an old cat Dog out on the Billeroy Run. His eyesight is dimmed, and the ears just have trimmed him away. Still, he's proud and he's game, he'll be there at the end of the day. Right by his side, in his footsteps, he'll faithfully come. Cause he's just an old cattle dog out on the Billeroy Run. He's just an old cattle dog out on the Billeroy Run. He's long in the tooth now. I reckon he's raced till he run Ah, but he'll be remembered For many years after he's gone Cause he's just an old cattle dog Out on the Billeroy run His spirit is strong, though his body is tired and old. He'll still follow the boss through the long day, sharing the load. From the first light of dawn every day till the set of the sun. Yeah, he's just an old cattle dog out on the Billeroy Run There's a tree by the homestead where many old mates have been laid And the old dog just knows that he'll join them one day in the shade He'll be laid down to rest in that Billeroy soil when he's done Cause he's just an old cattle dog out on the Billeroy Run. He's just an old cattle dog out on the Billeroy Run. He's long in the tooth now. I reckon he's raced till he run. Ah, but he'll be remembered. For many years after he's gone Yeah, he's just an old cattle 
jog out on the Billy Royal Run. Yeah, he's just an old cattle dog out on the Billy Royal Run. Oh, that was lovely, Patty. Thank you. Absolutely lovely. And unless you've done a great job, those harmonies. Who wrote that again? Norma O'Harmony. I wanted to say that because I wanted to uh, give her a bit of a plaque because she's a wonderful writer, isn't she? Yeah, and you've done, she, you've done her very proud indeed. Thank you very much. Big hand for Patty Morgan, thank you. Well, one thing that, one thing that Diane and myself know that we have to have younger people in this game to keep this wonderful genre going and we try to encourage that as many other people do. And so right now we have another young fellow Tom Chesterfield. Give him a big wave out there, Tom. Big hand for Tom. He's brought up in uh, uh, Tamworth, but you're in Armadale now and you're a station hand. Is that correct? That's correct, yep. Well, we want you to keep singing these ballads, mate, and uh, thank you for being with us tonight. Big hand, Mr. Tom Chesterfield. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> across the country as far as I can see memories of my granny come flooding back to me she worked the land like any man when my pop passed away as a kid I was her right hand man I take it on someday Pop was a great crop farmer and bred his first cross land. Granny carried on their dreams until time forced her hand. Retired to the city, old Abbey Farm was gone. Cause I wasn't old enough to fill pop shoes and carry on And the old fig on Abbey still beckons me As a child I would climb up so high in that tree And dream of my future it would be with the old big on Abbey, my family and me. was born to be a farmer there's no doubt in that so sporting my attire my jeans boots and hat I went to see the owners to rent a cottage that I knew now I'm back home living on the land at Winton where I grew and the old fig on Abbey still beckons me As a child I would climb up so high in that tree And dream of my future and how it would be With the old fig on Abbey, my family and Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Tom. We'll have to bring Tom back for another, another show soon. Thanks, Tom. 
you know, while we're organising this concert, it takes a lot of organising to get everything together. And I'd ring Tom up and he'd ring me back and he'd say, oh, I'm out in the paddock ploughing, I'm out in the harvester. He works hard up there at Armadale, out in the land. I know a lot of you will be travelling, travelling around Australia. And as we said earlier, there's so many festivals starting up again now. You know, you can get on that, that festival trail. And actually, Peter and I are going to be up at Capella. That is up in Queensland, outside of Emerald. A couple of hours out of Emerald. Anyone up that way from there? Yep, I can hear some there. Well, Chad Morgan's going to be up there in a couple of weeks. I'm not Oh, that's not that long away, in May. So if you're travelling, you can go up there to Capella, see Chad, and we'll be there too. And there's lots of other festivals happening all around the place. So check it out. Go and see some more live music. Now, another local lady, Lorraine Fitzner. How are you, Lorraine? Good, thanks. It's a pleasure to be back here again this year. A little bit late, but better late than never. Exactly. And much cooler weather, isn't it, this time? Well, I know some important things have been happening in Tamworth this week with statues and a bronze bust unveiling. Yes, we um, got the bronze bust of uh, Brian Young, affectionately known as Young. He unveiled uh, this week, Monday, down into the Pioneers Parade. So if you haven't been down there, go and have a look at all those wonderful bronze busts. But uh, oh, Diane, wonderful. we are starting to fundraise for Rick and Thel Kerry. Rick must. and Mr and Mrs Country Music. Rick and Thel Kerry, a a double bronze bust? No, they were going to be both together, head and shoulders both together. Oh, on how, how beautiful. So look out for that one and some news about that a little later on. But please put your hands together for Lorraine Fitzner. Thank you very much. Walk away, let's forget it's too late. Why should others have to pay for my stay? been spoken Too many hearts will be broken We had a chance long ago when we were free Now the happiness are too hard to depend on you and me Walk on my try not to cry is too late Why should others have to pay for our mistakes Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you so much. Well, we're going to keep the entertainment local from here in Tamworth, as you'll see coming out to the stage now. We're going to introduce the First Lady of Song to you. She has written so many songs, wonderful songs, had them recorded. Beautiful singer, so please put your hands together for Shazza Lee. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much, Di. And thank you very much, Tamworth. It's always an absolute honour to be on this concert. And um, I'd like to do the, the title track off my latest album, which we managed to get out about 12 months ago. It's just called Where Our Heart Lives. We're just waiting for the master of guitar, country guitar here. He's just... Uh, Getting, getting a bit of action in that old axe. Radio, Lindsay Butler, ladies and gentlemen. I hear this 
slammed through many eyes and seen it for myself. Walk beaches and down desert sands and gazed out from her shell. Sailed our sheltered borders and cruised the open sea. Climbed our wild escarpments from Kakadu to the Thank you so much, Shazza. That was wonderful. And right now we've got a wonderful treat for you, of course. And that is your husband, isn't it? Yeah. This fellow is a legend of country music. Um, he's a legend guitar player, producer, um, a multi gold guitar winner. He's on the roller renown, OAM. And besides that, he's just a wonderful man himself. Helped so many people along the way, including myself. So please, mate, welcome. The one and only Lindsay Butler. Thank you, Lindsay. Big hand for Lindsay Butler. Thank you very much, Peter. And uh, I'd just like to say it's always an absolute pleasure right. to do this show with you and I. And uh, to me, it's probably the highlight of the whole festival. So thank you for asking us back again. And I usually play the Slim Dusty song every time I come on this show. And uh, this is not one that Slim wrote, but he certainly recorded it and made a big hit out of it. It's called Now I'm Easy. Thank you. 
Shell rose with a beautiful petal steel. Fantastic playing, uh, playing music with these blokes. Blokes that I've known for many years. Rod Coe, Old Fed, Dougie Gallagher and Michelle Rose. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I'd like to uh, bring a bloke on stage to do a, an instrumental with me. A bloke that I admired for many, many, many moons. A great acoustic guitar player. And we're going to do another Slim Dusty tribute song. And uh, we might might do the old bush mates, eh, Charlie? Big hand for Charlie Boyder. Thank you. And thank you very much, Lindsay. And it's been a pleasure doing all the things we've done over the years. Really good.
thank you so much, Al. How lucky are we to have those two legends together? How long we put it? <laughs> I haven't seen that for many, many, many years. Diane. Here I come. So fantastic. I was just listening to that music out there. Our next artist are not locals. They're not locals. They're down from Victoria Way. They've travelled with Chad Morgan for many, many years, uh, performing on his shows all around the country. And we have Ian and Glennis, and they're known as the Mewers. Put your hands together, please, for the Mewers. Two, yeah. Wow. Last night we played to six people. It's time for rehearsal, Rod. And what a crowd. Can't see a single one out there, but I know there's more than six, okay? Is anyone out there? We're going to do a song. <laughs> We're going to do a song um, that we wrote for Chad. Glennis wrote these lyrics all the way on the way back from a gig one time, and. Uh, and we wrote a song called The Man in the Rainbow Suits. We wrote a song about Chad with all these different coloured suits. And uh, we were lucky enough to get this recorded by Tracy Costa. And, uh, and she had a bit of success, success with that. And, uh, but we're going to do the original version that we wrote on the way back from Kayama one time. So this is for Chad. Just for Chad. Here might be thinning. Till the eyesight's pretty keen He'll use his sticks for walking Blue eyes sparkle when he's talking A generous man with a heart of gold Story to be told You think he's getting on in years Don't tell him he's getting old The man in the rainbow suits Famous hat and a trademark grin he takes the stage, he owns it like no other can. Women flock around him, and the men line up too. They respect and shake the hand of the man in the rainbow suit. Hats he's worn are many, paint color, a drover, a cook. Things he said and done in sun Could fill a flaming book Never been one for labels Always marched to his own beat Babes and booze and bawdy tunes Crowds falling at his feet Man in the rainbow suits Made his head and a trademark grin When he takes the stage he owns it Like no Respect and shake the hand of the man in the rainbow suit. Now you can call him Chadwick, Mr. Morgan, or the Sheik. But you can't slow him down. He's got a stubborn streak. We're lucky all those fathers with their shotguns couldn't shoot That bloke, that, that bloody legend in his rainbow suit Man in the rainbow suit Rain his head and a trademark grin When he takes the stage he owns it Like no other can Women flock around him And the men May respect and shake the hand of the man in the rainbow suits One more time Man in the rainbow suits Man is a and a trademark grin When he takes the stage he owns it Like no other can Women flock around him And the men line up too May respect and shake the hand the man in the rainbow suit I respect and shake the hand 
of the man in the rainbow suits. Those bloody rainbow suits. We love him, Chad Morgan. Thank you very much. Hey, Thanks to fabulous band. People travel around and help chat, chat out and uh, they do a wonderful job. It's their first time on this concert, but it won't be the last, Ian. And now we have that uh, local fellow back again, Tom Maxwell. But before he starts, Tom just got a couple of words he wants to say to you. So a big hand for Mr. Tom Maxwell. That's good, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Pete. Uh, it's a great night here tonight. Absolutely wonderful. Folks, I've chosen to do this song for you tonight, and uh, hopefully you can help me out with it. If you all bring your torches along, or if you all got a phone, just show me if you can light up your phone. That'd be great if you could. Yay, there they come on. The oh, this will be great. So when we get to the chorus, folks, that's what I want you to do. I want you to get your lights going with us. Okay? This is going to be good. Okay, boys, the key D, we're going to do the old lights on the hill. When it goes a bit like this. It's a long straight road and the engine is deep I can't tell thinking of a good night's sleep And the long, long roads of my life were calling me These rough old hands are a glue to the wheel My eyes full of sand from the way they feel And the lights coming over the hill are blinding me it's a long, tough fall from a way down south A man's got to find a little bread for his mouth And a home for a girl, sweet as my honey can be So it's down through the gears, she's a stubborn to pull The gauge on the tanks are showing it full And the lights coming over the hill are blinding me yeah, there's rain on the road Now I can feel that load start a shifting In a dance Play to see the post That I haven't got a ghost of a chance Oh, hold oh, on oh, no. The windscreen wipers are a-beating in time The song they sing is a part of my mind And I can't believe it's really happening to me but I'm over the edge and down the mountainside I know they'll tell about the night I died In the rain when the lights in the hill were a blind in me Here's a band! Shifting in it. Play to see the post that I haven't got a ghost of a chance. Oh, 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 oh. The windscreen wipers are beating in time. The song they sing is part of my mind. And I can't believe it's really happening to me. Out of over the edge and down the mountainside. I know they'll tell them that. And I done in the rain when the lights in the hill were blind to me. Let the band take it out now. Folks, thank you, oh, thanks, Tom, how good thank is that? You. And wow. Quinn Fiddle. That's not Lights too bad, on you the fellas. Hill. Double Fiddle. Peter Denny and Fantastic. Uh, Mike Kieran. What a highlight. And thank you. We could Up here we could see all the lights. It's just, just wonderful. Well, we're going to uh, bring it local again. A lady you saw out here a little bit early and who sang the national anthem for us. 
Lynette Guest does a beautiful number and she's local too. So Lynette Guest, everybody. It's on again, the local dance. I drive around for a drink of romance. All I ever see are the same station hands. But tonight I'll be at the local dance. I don't mind the heat. But I hope that bull dust doesn't mess up my head. It'll take three hours and I'll be there by eight. I hope the boy won't be late. It's on again, the local dance. I drive around. No shut up. It's on again. The local dance. I drive for hours for a drink of romance. All I ever see are the same station hands. But tonight I'll be at the local dance. Thank you very much, everyone. Lynette Guest, everybody. Thank you, Lynette, with the local dance. How many have been to a local dance? A bit of fun, aren't they? They really are. Well, don't go away anywhere if you're thinking of ducking off because stay here because we're going to have a special finale coming up not too far away, something a bit special. So before the next artist, we'd like to say just a couple of thank yous. Thank you all for coming here to the Back to the Bush Spectacular and spending your evening with us. We do appreciate it. Give yourselves a clap coming out. Thank you so much. And all our supporters, Tamworth Council sponsors, and this fantastic band up here. We couldn't do it without them. Yeah, that is very true. And our stage and sound crew here as well. They do a fantastic job trying to look after us all, so thank you all. And before we bring the next artist out, and I'll introduce you to the next artist, a big thank you to all our balladeers who, and, uh, who have come here tonight to give their time freely to share these stories and songs with you. They're all wonderful people and, they, and they're all very passionate about this genre, the bush ballad genre. It's important we keep it going and you people are certainly helping us do that, so thank you once again. And please make welcome on this fellow who does a lot to keep this genre going and, and, his, and traditional country music. And his name is Ken Chainsaw Lindsay. How are you, Ken? I'm very well, thanks, Pete. Wonderful to be here. It certainly is, mate. And it's uh, after our little uh, spell of a couple of years. Mate. But you've got another CD out as well? Yeah, did one last year, so it's pretty new. Well, I wish you all the best with that, mate. And uh, thank you once again for being with us. A big hand for Ken Chainsaw Lindsay.
sitting here with memories, reading letters from old friends, dreaming I am back with those pals of mine in the good times once again. I see the mountain trail we used to ride, the Murray River flowing, where once stood the homestead of my youth. Go down the range from Brumbies on the run. White faced cattle string along through the mist in the morning sun. Where the G High River meets the Murray with a song that never ends. Like the everlasting mateship there in the handshake. The songs we sang together We were mustering men With the best of men And shared their saddle leather What a welcome sight When we were riding back To the homestead fire glowing Through the dark of the night To see the guiding light Of home and old and cold and Through the dark See the guiding light of home and old and old. Very much, and thank you to the band, Mr. Ken Chainsaw Lindsay. And Ken does a lot on the radio too, by the way. He does a, a great, great radio program that, that promotes all those nice bush ballads. That's very true. Well, thank you everyone for being here tonight, and especially to those streaming online. We do appreciate your support. Well, we really have time now just for one more song, a great finale number, and. Uh, well, we're going to bring on all our artists very shortly to join in. But would you please welcome to the stage one of Australia's most well-known and respected songwriters. We're very privileged to have him here. So a big hand indeed for Mr Graham Connors. Thanks, Graham. What a delight to be here. Thank you very much for the invitation, Peter and I have. We've done us proud to come this far Down through the years to where we are Side by side and hand in hand We've lived and died For this great land We've done us proud I sail the sea In search of freedom I till the soil 
or a seed to grow. I built the fences to hold the cattle. I mined the earth in search of gold. Help me out here. Australian and uh, be safe. COVID won't beat us, nothing will beat us. Um, that's the Australian way of life. Thanks for being here at the Back to the Bush Spectacular. We look forward to seeing you somewhere throughout the year. I'll Back you here at the January. festival. Thank you.
if I'm up in parts unknown. Land of bush dirt and stone. If it's weeks since a shower, I need help within the hour. There's something I'll tell you for sure. Not a lie, it's almost law. This land cruiser drives us home. This land cruiser drives us home. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. Four days of bikes, music and food. Register now. Nationalthunder.com.au